Hello everybody, my name is Kedemar and welcome to our very first video for Hitchhiker. It's a brand new game that came out not too long ago. Kind of rent off the radar. I actually looked for uh, for the ratings uh, reviews of it on, on Metacritic and stuff like that. And there's actually no reviews for it. But it, it is coming out. I mean, I can play it right now. It's just no reviews for it. So nobody played it apparently. I'm probably one of the few persons on the internet or actually is going to record something about it. I'm intrigued about the game. I mean, I saw it. I went to the store, um, Xbox store, whatever. I looked as there are new games or anything, anything at all I could play. And it was this game right here. Now, apparently it's a mystery game. It's like a puzzle game and stuff like that. You guys already know I'm terrible at puzzles. But, uh, you know, I, I, f I figured it could be fun and stuff like that. Figure I'll have a little bit of a time. It's an action adventure as well. Uh, apparently, it's uh, that's why it's called Itch Hiker. You itch hike uh, with a bunch of cars and stuff like that. You and along the way, you discover you don't have any memory of what happened to you or whatever or your past, and you're trying to uncover what your past was all about and stuff like that. I hope it's a good game. I have no idea what type of game it is aside from the whole uh, remembering your past thing. So I just hope it's a good game and I didn't just waste twenty five bucks on it. But uh, we'll see how it goes, boys. I look around, play, interact, everything. All right, so I can only look around like this and I can press A by interacting with stuff. So this is my first hitchhike already. Uh, you can hear the cough, so looks like this is how you interact. This guy's got like raisins? He eats that just like that? The hell? Are, the, uh, are these like chocolate raisins? Like, uh, like the ones they sell so, at uh, your yeah. local store or something? Or actual raisins? Uh, raw and stuff. Shrug. I'm actually gonna shrug. I don't know. I don't know, buddy. Hmm. Not the talkative type, eh? Not really, no. That's okay. Most people I pick up are just waiting for their turn to talk. Okay. Want a raisin? Want a raisin? Uh, sure, I guess. I'll take some. Sure, I guess. This is not poison, is it? I'll take some. I wonder what uh, what the uh, implications are and everything. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Man, it, I knew it, man. I I eat something. What? Okay. Strange. They're Thompson seedless. Good raisins. Well, I guess they I don't like resins. I don't know, boys. All right, so a backpack open. Let me actually go down the level a little bit. There we go. Yes, please enlighten me. So this is yes, please enlighten me. Yeah, sure, enlighten me. Whatever. Raisins and grapes, man. I'm intrigued, man. Uh, you gotta be you got you gotta be a cool dude with uh, by uh, itch hiking and stuff like that. I guess so. Memory is a slippery thing. Think about when somebody asks you about this ride later. Assuming you even know where you're going and get someplace where somebody can ask you. Hey, how'd you get here anyway? They'll ask you. Oh, I hitched. And your brain will flash back for a second when you say this. And it'll show you a frozen snapshot of yourself sitting in this car talking to me like we are right now you're a creepy dude aren't but you which moment will it actually show you will it be this one or this one what the hell hey you're playing with my view right here we think we remember how people really were how our lives together really were but when we think back to them even the people we cared about the most all we're doing Got a toothbrush on my backpack, boys. Rotate. Don't have anything about it. Just a toothbrush? That's it? 
What the fuck am I gonna do with a toothbrush, boys? I don't have any money whatsoever, okay. You know, wh who are you trying to remember? What is it with you with and the raisins, my guy? That's, That's what I'm asking right here. Raisins. They're like those dogs you see with wrinkles of skin falling over their eyes. Not the most handsome dogs. Basically helpless but lovable. My wife, she preferred grapes the way most people do. She's dead now, but you probably guessed that. Okay. And you, uh, you had to tell me that why exactly? And uh, how would I have guessed the, the... What? Takes one to know one, right? What do you mean? I can always spot Are you assuming stuff about me, my guy? It, like, you don't even know me. Usually stand chewing tobacco? Let's inspect day. that. Okay, so he's got chewing the tobacco. I'm just inspecting stuff, boys. Have we met before? No, I don't know you. Just know the type. Know the type. So what do you remember about her? Like, like I am a, a natural type, yo, my guy. You gotta chill a little bit. I, I do like the. What she looked like. I do like what the uh, the game looks like right now. It looks remember fantastic, boys. I like the the graphics, the way it, uh, it's done Some and stuff. Some people have faces that are easy to remember. Doesn't seem fair. I've noticed that too. Still, I think you'd remember your own wife. Yeah, I think you remember your own wife, my guy. I think that's kind of weird. Well, it's not as easy as you think. What you mean? I'll give you an example. You think you're present in the moment? You've been talking to me for a few minutes now. What color are my eyes? Are you shitting me? I haven't looked at your eyes at all the entire time, my guy. But I'm pretty sure they're green. Nope. What? Well, like I said when I picked you up, some people are just waiting until it's their turn to talk. All right, how about we start to hey, uh, stop kid. talking then? The fuck do you Give want? Me a favor and crack the window, would you? How about I don't? But you shut the fuck up and drive. You think I'm gonna really open the window here? Think again. Hey, I'm kid. actually not gonna. How about opening that window? No, I'm not. I want to see how, what happens if I don't open the window, boys. It's going to be funny. Let's uh, do the visor down, actually. All right. Have it your way. That's right. I'm having it my way, bitch. You don't tell me what to do. You pick up a lot of hitchhikers? Where are we headed anyway? Yeah, that's my, that's my question. Oh, yeah, shit. I picked up the wrong thing. But after a while, you start seeing the same few archetypes over and over. You got the numb nuts Kerouac fans. You got your autodidact blowhards. They'll talk your ears off. You get a lot of people from Cincinnati for some reason. You got your deadheads trying to get to some concert someplace. And then there's the water bottle person. Oh, Scott, his Always his were in the his eyes are blue, boys. Damn it. I knew they were so, like lightish. You're the first hitcher I ever picked up who doesn't have a destination. Is that true? Copernicus. Copernicus, very funny. Pretend to be from Cincinnati? I'll just pretend to be... Nah, well, I'll just be... I'll just say it's very funny, I guess. Well, seems like the right name for a guy who's traveling the world without knowing where he's going. Well, there's nothing wrong you with that. Back, you don't need to always have a destination on your mind, I guess. Sometimes you just gotta let loose. Yeah, actually, that was Comenius, my guy. Get your facts right. What? That was Comenius who developed the language, not Copernicus. Oh, I stand correct. See, you're, 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 you're having an intellectual guy in your uh, in you your know, car right when now. I was a kid, my brother and let I. Me, uh, let me let me inspect that first. Love is the extremely difficult realization that something other than oneself is real. Whatever you say, dude. Used to drive our parents let's uh, bring that up. Long drives like this. There's no sound our anyway. Folks wouldn't let us listen to the radio in the car. So we used to make up these songs about food on long drives to pass the time. We had this one with about 30 verses, each about a different kind of grain. There was this one time when we passed a billboard for this new kind of bread. 
Balak bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of Balak bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of Balak bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of Balak bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of Balak bread. Oh, oh yeah, that drove mom and dad crazy. Come on, join in. In Are you dude? No, I think I'll pass. I think you're kind of creeping me out right now, my guy. I'll pass on that one. In hell they have a hell a lot of Argus Panoptes. Your uh, your ad here, okay? Where are we going? I actually legit don't know where we're going, boys. Catchy song? Uh, this is this is driving me crazy. Actually, it's a catchy song. I'm not gonna lie. What the? Okay, this is creeping me out now. Can I leave? Actually, I'm beginning to understand my parents' perspective. Getting older is funny. It's like reading a book where less and less happens, but the writing gets better and better. <laughs> Are you trying to say something, my guy right here? That's pretty profound. Sounds like a mixed blessing. You got that right, kid. <laughs> Let me tell you, getting old is no picnic. What's it, uh, what's it like being married for so long? Did she work for the, on the farm with you? Yeah. We used to have a strict division of labor back when we worked together. She would raise the grape from the time... I'm going to tell you something real quick, boys. If I was hitchhiking with someone, time. anybody, I would never talk that. that much I with somebody. I would respond and stuff, but I would never, like, be that talkative. I, I don't know who I'm playing as right now, but that person is is a talkative person, man. He's extrovert as hell. It's crazy. Like, he is not afraid of answering questions, that's for sure. box there of us standing in front of our trailer. It was in a magazine. One of those stories about vanishing farmers that always pulls heartstrings with the rest of the country. What you got there? Uh, just a matchbook, concealed phone number. Nah, nah. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna conceal the phone number right here. I don't think it just concerns a him. Book, huh? I figured it must have been something important. What's ma what makes you say that? Because the window is still closed. Okay. So where were what, we? What's the matter with you, man? Just because the, the window still closed doesn't mean I'm a bad dude. It's nice that you keep it with you on the road. Uh, mind if I take a look? Well, I never open the glove box myself. It's kind of a superstition of mine. Okay. Well, you're kind of a weird guy as well, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. There she is. So there they are. Where'd you get that? That's not her. And that what? guy there, he looks like you. Wait, what? What's this doing in your car? Who's the woman? I don't know. I was going to ask you the same question, Copernicus. Did he? Who gave this to you? Nobody. It's your glove box, not mine, buddy. You're the one well, uh, who, who needs to, to answer. You. you better hold on to it. What the fuck? How did this get in? How did this uh, get into his glove box and stuff? Who do, who do you think this woman is? What woman? The one in the picture, you dumbass. Well, oh, her. Well, hard to say. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. All right, I don't know what it's that was all about, boys, but that was anyway. kind of stupid. So there's a woman in a picture with me. I have no idea who she is. Uh, we do have a matchbook as well. It says help with a number on it. It's probably her number. I don't know what's going on here, boys. This guy sings creepy songs. Like, so far, I don't know. Can I take another reason, reason or something? Check the glove box. What's the black thing in there anyway? The glove box? What's the black thing? Binoculars? The hell? Okay. What are we looking at right here? Anything interesting there? Well, there's a windmill. No, just some boring field, I guess. Yep. Not much to see around here. 
pretty flat until we hit North Bend. You know, I'm not going to tell him anything. I'm going to keep the, all these images and these informations in mind, boys. But I'm not going to tell him anything. Because if I tell him something, uh, I feel like it's going to go pretty bad. So it's a scenic break right now. Okay, I see, I see you, game. So there's these dialogue moments, like big time story moments. And then when you want to move on to the next part, you just tap him in and compare, uh, continue. Okay. Kind of like that. Raisin guy. Okay. You know, um, this guy's kind of weird. Not gonna lie. A can? Okay, can I not kill it, kick it out like, properly? Okay, I guess I can't do anything with that can. Lock the w lock the door. No, I'm gonna unlock it. You never know what can happen here, man. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna unlock the door. I'm gonna let it unlocked. All right, so I think we're good. I'm, I don't have anything else. Let's just tap the driver here. Right now, I just don't know what's going on. All we the only information we got is a windmill, a number, and a woman on a picture with me. So I don't know exactly what that is all about. <coughs> so what you got to say for yourself, so, buddy? Want to hear a joke? Sure, I guess. Why did the raisin take the prune to the dance? I don't know. He couldn't get a date. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. Very funny, dude. Hey, that reminds me. Not so funny at all. You'll like this. It's my favorite. I once knew the hostess, Darlene. She used to change the tires on my truck on Highway 51. Welcome to another interesting... It's gonna make, make me listen to some radio bullshit right here, okay? It's taking such a long drive, though. Normally, at like this type of road, you would go at like 90, uh, uh, 90 kilometers an hour, boys. Not 50, like uh, however he is going right now. Solve the riddle. So find the correct object and use the radio to help. To get help. I have no idea. Find the correct object. Use the radio to get help. Excuse me, I I have no idea. Cloud. Okay, so it was the clouds? A gatekeeper forever bound. He opens and shuts with a similar sound. Gates, I guess. That's easy. That's kind of easy. That's the that's the door. Isn't it? Why do I have to actually look at the exterior and stuff like that? Well, a zipper. Oh, the zipper? Wait, that was a zipper? I would have thought a wrench door or something like this right here, I guess. Says the guy who never knew what pressure to keep his tires at. Hey. Having fun? Want to keep going? Not really, actually. I'm not good at riddles and I'm never having fun when trying to uh, solve riddles. So, yeah, I kind of want to end it right now, please. I said, I said enough. You gave me a final one. Oh, come on, darling. Here lies without touching the ground. I guess it's Vern. Damn it, darling. I should have tipped her better when she changed the tires. She's been out to get me ever since. What are you lying about? Look, she isn't being straight with you, kid. Check the photo, Copernicus. The photo in your bag. Then you'll see. Okay, what is this all about? Oh god, what is this? What happened to the photo? Who did this? She's in trouble. The fuck? Who did this to the photo? Copernicus, you must help her. Help who? I don't even know who she is. What do you want me to help her for? She can help herself out. How did you change the photo? What's going on here, man? Uh, things like that happen all the time on this highway. It's not really? Like you're scrunchy over. You did something to her, didn't you? Turn the radio back on. I want to talk to Darlene. <laughs> nah, you did something to her, didn't you? Kid, I am sorry about your girlfriend. But I had nothing to do with it. What it's makes you think she's my girlfriend in the first place? Sent to protect you. Who sent you to protect me? Protect me from whom? From yourself. 
What? You picked this car every bit as much as I chose to stop for you. Okay, you're cre you're pr you're you I don't know what you're talking about, my guy. Picked me. Not to feel anything. Not to feel what? Why would I do that? Let's not kid ourselves. You don't seem like a guy who wants to remember. Remember what? I don't trust a single word coming out of your mouth, my guy. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what's going on. I admit I lied. But only about one thing. You're not really a farmer. Your wife isn't really dead. We've met before. You put a photo of me in the glove box. I think we've met before, actually. Yeah, we probably met before. All right, let's start from the beginning then. Sure. You showed up at my trailer park taking photos. Did I? At first, I was a bit suspicious, since there were plans to kick us out and develop the trailer park into some kind of shopping center. But then it became clear that you'd been sent here by a magazine to do one of those stories about vanishing farmers that always pulls heartstrings with the rest of the country. Was she there with me? Why weren't you straight with me from the start, my guy? We could have worked this out. I don't know, like, why were you trying to hide uh, from me right here? Kid, I told you, you don't want to go down that road. Why would I not? You think I'm afraid of anything, my guy? Come on now. So what else are you not being honest about? Why should I be afraid of the truth? Come on now. Well, what's that they say in that Tom Cruise movie? The one where he's a bartender? I don't know. I don't watch Everything the Tom Cruise badly, movies. Or it wouldn't end at all. I wasn't afraid of the truth either. Back then. My wife. She got the x-rays. And she knew. She decided to spare my feelings. Didn't tell me anything. Hid the x-rays in one place I'd never suspect. Because it was so obvious. In the glove box? Stayed closed till today. Till you came along. You make a mistake. Locking your feelings away. Stop changing the subject and get to the point. Yeah, exactly. You're just changing the subject right now. I don't care about your wife anymore. All this bullshit, man. I wish it was that simple, kid. Hey, Chief. Why don't you have a look here? And who is this behind us right now? Huh? Who might this be behind us right now? Who's this creeping out? He appeared on this highway about the same time you did. I guess he's part of what you're running from. Uh, who the hell is that backseat? Not sure. I'm not turning it around. You can't see him directly. He only shows up in mirrors, windows, pictures. <laughs> what is happening here, man? Well... We haven't talked yet about the second time we met. Okay, tell me about the second time then. Am I a ghost? Is that what's going on here, boys? Am I dead already? That's the thing. It's a little hard to explain. Better if I just take you there. Are you serious right now? It's just a quick detour. We'll be there in a minute. I don't even know where you're taking me from the, uh, from the start. This is not good, boys. I feel like I'm already dead. I'm just itch hiking like crazy right now. Like, I'm basically like that's that one supernatural episode. I'm that one w uh, woman in white. I'm a I'm a man in white. I guess I don't know what's going on here. And why is it going so dark right now? Look, I don't like this. All I can tell you, boys, is I know for a fact I'm probably already dead. I don't know what this is all about. This kind of strange. It's kind of crazy. I am not gonna lie. I don't like this whatsoever. I don't know where he's taking me at. A man travels along a road until he reaches a gate at the top of a hill. The road has been long and straight so far, and the going has been easy. But now the man can't go any further, so he takes a seat by the road to rest. The man waits. And after a length of time that seems neither short nor long, 
the gate opens and a guard appears. Ask the guard for entry. Um, sure, I guess. Why not? The man asks the guard for entry, but the guard says he cannot let him enter at the moment. The man thinks for a second and asks if he will be allowed through later. It is possible, says the guard, but not now. Look through the gate? What if I don't look through the gate? I don't have any other options than this, boys. I, I'm, I'm being controlled now right now. The stands slightly open. And the man tries to look through it longingly. His journey has been easy so far, and he misses the feeling of the open road. The guard notices and laughs. Even if you could gain entry, there are many gatekeepers after me. Some are much stronger than me, and I'm afraid to look upon them. So there the man waits for days, months, Years, waiting to enter. One day, when he's given up hope of entering, a single question occurs to him, one he has not thought of before. Why, he wonders aloud, are there no other travelers along this road? All these years, no one but myself has waited in front of this gate. The answer to this question comes from a voice near his shoulder. It is you who made this gate, says a bird perched nearby. So it exists for no one but you. But why, asks the traveler, why would I choose to stop here? You know, the last time someone feeded the bird, it ended pretty badly, boys. I'm not going to lie here. The bird answers after hungrily eating a crust of bread from the man's hand. After this point, the road becomes less straight. It splinters like the tree in which I live, splitting into dozens, hundreds of branches. The path becomes impossibly narrow and frail and crowded with the view of other paths one could have taken. There's only one point ahead on the road where all paths converge, where all points join, where the light shines through skin and through eyes, but it's never been reached by one of your kind, a traveler who walks on feet. Shoo, cries the guard, chasing the bird away. Don't listen to his nonsense. Having said this, he takes a seat next to the traveler, but not before closing the gate forever. So when you think about it, who knows how long we've been sitting here, just like this, on this road. Take it from me. It's better to face things with, what's it called again? Fortitude. Better not to feel too much. <coughs> so you're telling me I'm the traveler and you're the guard, is it? Is that what you're trying to say? We're going to decide that in the next video, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.